Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. The first chart today comes from our good friend Jeff over there in New Jersey. Does a lot of great work. I love the black background. That part I don't like, but it doesn't make any difference. It works great for Jeff, but he has a beautiful 135 pattern here in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And the fact that that right side took it out by just a little bit and then gave it back is actually a good sign. That was known as a Bryce Gilmore key reversal. So we're going to be looking. Oh, by the way, our guest today is going to be Paula Webb Douglas. And we're going to be talking about some things. And I've got a big surprise for Paula Webb Douglas. One of my things on my bucket list is coming true. So stay with us for the, when Paula T gets on the air here in a half an hour. You'll notice here that the price objectives of these ABCDs measure down into the area that uh, we were looking at much lower. Uh, if that is a case very similar to what Jeff Huge talked about. And also the fact that maybe, just maybe, there may be some type of a correction. Now, I wanted to share with you some statistics from the Bank of America, and it's re regarding the Federal Reserve. Let me blow it up here so we can see it right here. Basically, what this is saying is that every time that the – remember, the Federal Reserve is not your friend, folks. I hope you realize that. The stuff that they talk about – May, not, may or may not be true, but you'll notice here every time the Fed pivoted, and I was, I've been involved with every one of these because uh, I've been trading for so long, and I can remember uh, 1970, and uh, I can't remember all of them. The, uh, I remember Volcker and uh, Burns, uh, Greenspan, Bernanke, and Yellen, and now Mr. Powell. And uh, Alan, By what was it? Alan, gosh, what was his name? The one before uh, Mr. Uh, 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 Volker. Anyway, he was under Carter. Anyway, you'll notice every time that they pivoted, there was a big correction in the market. In other words, rates stopped going up. And when they pivoted, that's when the correction came. Now, remember, folks, you're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven samples. Not good. You get 100 samples, that's good. But this happens to be just only seven samples. The reason why is they don't pivot very long. And Powell does what he says he's going to do. He says it's going to be data dependent. Now, let's get to the pedal meeting the metal, folks. They've told us that everything is okay in the banking index. And, oh, my goodness, let's just take a look at this and see if, in fact, things are really like they say it is. Now, this is... We owe a, a whole debt of gratitude, folks, to our good friend Jim Bartoleone of Bart's Charts. If you see right up here, he sent us a special thing saying, hey, this is the moment of truth. We are heading down. He, remember, he had a beautiful chart, so the 382 and the long-term weeklies. Uh, he had the ABCD structures built into that, and you can see we've had the move down. Now, look at the action here over the past few days when we've had these banks being taken over. Folks, there are, there are, there are 50 index of banks in this index, 50 of them. Every single one is red today. Some of them red big time, down 7, 8, 10%. There's something wrong in the regional banking index. It could be commercial paper. I don't know what it is. But when you see a chart like this, and we've seen them before, it's telling you something. Remember, folks, they can lie to you. They can give you misinformation. They can cheat you. They can lock you in a closet. They can put you in the trunk of the car. But the one thing they can't do, folks, is hide from you. If prices are going down, guess what? There's more sellers. If prices are going up, there's more buyers. Try to remember that. Look at some of these stocks and some of these regional banks. They're getting absolute creamed. 
And speaking of being creamed, let's take a look at none other than the crude oil market. We're going to get this up here and show you right here. And we will have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics will be our guest who has been saying uh, as he was on the show Monday when it was trading at 83. Uh, you can see here we've been just dropping like a rock. Well, it was trading at uh, 78. But you can see here. Uh, it's just been – no, it was 83. But you can see here we've been dropping and dropping. We didn't stop at the 61% retracement. We didn't stop at the 50 – at the 78% retracement. Both of those were very small losses. But after the market closed, we dropped $4 a barrel. Do you see that right there, folks? That's a $4 – we took out the lows right here. You know, so they know where those stops were. So somebody picked it up really cheap, didn't it? Now, guess what happened after we hit uh, $64 a barrel? Hello, we have a big, big rally. And since we talk about things on this show that we like to prove that sometimes they work, sometimes they don't work. But here is an updated version of what happened to that uh, chart with the crude oil and what we're going to do now is to bring it up so you'll be able to see it in live motion. There was the big move down. Look at this. You think how many people, uh, what happened there? Uh, smells a little fishy, but it was real trading, folks. Look at the low today, folks. It was an exact 382 from the low to the high to there is a 382, and we've rallied already $2,000 or $2 a barrel uh, today off of that 2000 uh, 230 uh, 382 retracement now we know that the 382 retracement doesn't work all the time but folks it works some of the time and boy that's what really counts you when you've got that in your in your quiver uh, you can take all your arrows out and get ready to shoot for that one because that's a really really great one you know to be uh, trading uh, when you get it and it was actually it missed it by uh, 12 point 12 pips which was 100 bucks, but uh, close enough for, for government work. Anyway, that's something that we're paying very, very close attention to right now. The other thing that I – there's two or three really big things happening today uh, that we talked about yesterday, and I want to get to those. Uh, but the, one, of the, one of the main things today is I want you to see this is that uh, we just got this from our good, boy, our good friend Chuck G., uh, came back from his uh, trip to the Amazon, and I want to show you – uh, the chart that he sent us on the SPY today because this was a very, very important pattern here in the SPY. We went down exactly to guess what, folks? A, B, C, D. And that's where it stopped, and we've had a pretty good rally. We've rallied about 30 handles off the bottom at about 200 Dow points. So that tells you that there's some type of a little bottom in here. Now, remember... Prices can go up and prices can go down. It depends on when you're looking at them and what you're trying to do when you see them. That's the main thing that we're watching right here. Now, we've got a break coming up in just a moment. And when we come back, one of the most important charts I've looked at in a long time is going to be on the air. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bond as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. Okay, we're back, folks. I'm bringing up a chart that is uh, very, very important from a technical standpoint because it's follow the money time. And uh, we know that from Bernstein and Woodward. Uh, that is very, very important. This is the euro. Uh, you'll notice here, uh, this is a four-hour chart going back uh, quite a ways and the uh, last five or six weeks. But you can see the ABCD patterns that are up here and the fact that the market has made, uh, it looks like a potential for a triple top up in this area. Now, what was extremely important to us was the fact that we had this a beautiful A, B, C, D coming in right at the 382. And I mentioned this is where this market should absolutely explode to the upside, much like we saw in wheat, much like we saw in the Dow, uh, the S&P last uh, uh, Wednesday on the 26th when we hit uh, uh, 4074 uh, and we sh ran 100 handles in one day. That's what that should have done. But that's not what happened. Let's try to see why. All we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at this chart, and we're going to bring up the long-term weekly chart of the euro. And as we bring this up here, you'll be able to see this goes back very, very long time. We'll get it up here and be able to see it. Here we are. Okay, now you can see the trades that were through here there was a 382 retracement and then we have the big now this is nothing more than a large a b c d to the downside you can see you have another a b c d to the downside that happens to be a perfect three drive to a bottom pattern if you measure the weeks from the b leg down to the c leg and the c leg down to the d leg they're equal and there you became quite bullish here at 96. And now where we are is we're right here. We've hit it three times now, folks. And today it looked like it was going to blast through there like you wouldn't believe. And it hit that solid wall and just broke badly. And now we're almost below that 382 retracement that we looked at just the other day. Now, it may or may not happen. But that's what you're looking at. If we ever get above this level, which is 111, that tells us that there is a longer A, B, C, D. There again, there's your magical 382 retracement right here, courtesy of 
Tom Hugard. And when you see that, that means you're running away. But boy, if you don't run away, that's when you're moving. See, we've taken out the lows here uh, in the last day or so. In fact, in fact, today is what happened. And so that's what we're, we're paying attention to as we as we look at some of these charts here today. But that's a very, very important one. Right now, uh, it has a lead of about 80 points, which is a good way to start. But, you know, not all the time does that happen. Now, because you've been so kind, we are going to take a trip across the pond. We're going to go over to look at our old friend, the German DAX, the favorite trading vehicle of Trader Tom. And if we get this up here, you're going to be seeing a market that looks so different than ours that it's unbelievable. We had an ABCD. There's your 61% retracement. Another ABCD. All of them measure up into this area. And as you can see, it started down uh, at least from the uh, very beginning. And the, west, the way we try to check on that is if we'll go down to a smaller time frame, which happens to be a four minute, and you're going to see, you're not going to believe this, folks, but it says AB equals CD. I had such a hard time describing these patterns to the folks over in Las Vegas that it just, I, they seem to be wanting to grasp it, but no cigar. Anyway, here's what's happened. You have a perfect A, B, C, D, and then you have a nice strong rally back in again. Now, this means we could go all the way back up into this area. But look at, look how perfect it is. Folks, you see this diagram here, these triangles that are like this? When I did my charts for commodity perspective on Saturday, and then I would get, you know, put my old charts away, and my daughters would take out the, their little plastic scissors, and they would they would cut these out just like this. They would cut this out and they would color this one in green and this one in blue. And then they would put it on the refrigerator to remind me of what daddy's work was and what daddy did for a living and stuff like that. And speaking of that, this is this is a funny story. My kids are in the fourth, uh, first and first grade and second grade there at Westlake Village, and they have parents' night. And so I go into parents' night with the with the missus, and the kids are there playing around and stuff. And the principal of the school comes up and she says, "Larry, she says, would you mind coming into the office?" And so I go into the office and I said, "What's wrong, Edith?" And she said, "Oh, nothing's wrong." She said, "We have show and tell, and Jill was in for show and tell, and she said something that." We really are worried about it. And I said, what's that? She said, well, she says, my daddy goes into his own room and has a sign on it that says, do not open this door under any circumstances. And she said, he has nothing in there but a, but a TV, but the TV only has numbers on it. And then he takes us to school, and then he goes to the racetrack and plays the horses with his friends. <laughs> and I said, well... It's not quite that bad. And she said, are you a bookmaker? And I said, no. I said, I'm a broker for Drexel Burnham Lambert, and that's my Reuters machine. So that's how my kids interpreted what my lifestyle was. And it wasn't too bad, actually. But anyway, uh, I was thinking about that this morning when I, I was chatting with Paula. Uh, she, she reminded me of that story, but uh, that's what happened. I was the bookmaker of the old area. So anyway, that's what we're watching here. Now, let's take a quick look here at the FTSE that's coming up also. Now, the FTSE is a lot different because you'll see it's in a longer-term downtrend, as it should be, because they're in a strike over there. All the medical facilities, the hospitals and doctors and nurses, you die, you're in trouble. There's nothing you can do about it. If you get really sick, they're not going to even pick you up. Look at the big A, B, C, D. Now, this is a classical three drive to a bottom. You can see drive one, drive two, drive three, plus you have another A, B, C, D on top of it. So you have a double pattern in here, and you've already started to see the rally that's occurring here uh, in the FTSE here so far today. So those are the kinds of things that we're watching as we follow these things uh, through the day. By the way, folks, please send some great white light to my good friend, Dr. Steve Shapiro. Mother Nature is knocking on his door, folks, uh, and I'm afraid uh, it's getting time. So please say some wonderful prayers for him. He's a great guy. Always had my back. I've known him for 43 years and uh, uh, one of the finest men I've ever met. And he was a school teacher at Drexel, Cal Poly, San Luis Obispo, UCLA, and 
uh, also Drexel University uh, in Philadelphia where he graduated. Anyway, we're going to take a break here because we have Paula T. Douglas will be coming up in just a minute. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. He was telling us about this coming break that we've had here uh, in the uh, crude oil all week long. And I know some of the folks were able to take a uh, really good advantage of it. Uh, those were my only two losses yesterday when I nibbled at it. Uh, very small losses, which was okay. I did make some on the short side, but uh, made up for the losses. But that's neither here nor there. Hey, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Paula T. on the line. Paula, how are you doing? Good. Where are you? I can't see you. Uh, you can see uh -oh. me, though, right? Uh Wait a minute. I should be here. Just a second. Uh, oh, you know what I did? Yeah, here I am. Hello. <laughs> Everybody else can see me. I think I've got my uh, I've got my video on. So anyway, I don't know why. Not to worry about it. We can see you. Okay. That's well, important. it's probably on my end, so no problem. Okay. Not a problem. Well, anyway, good morning, everybody. 
Good morning, good morning. Uh, because, you know, you were so instrumental in doing all the work with uh, with Mark, as I know you corrected it, well, corrected every T, dotted every I, and uh, <laughs> proofread it a thousand times over. But the main thing that people seem to ask me, you know, in trading is, they have a hard time shaking off a loss. Do you have anything that would help them to say, you know... <laughs> Just forget about it and move on to the next one? I mean, what would you tell somebody like that, PT? Well, a lot of reasons that traders have problem letting go of a loss is because they were invested in that trade being a winner. And ah. they wanted to be right. And so when the trade didn't work out, for whatever reason, and it could just be market movement, not anything they necessarily did wrong, but they wanted it to be right. And so by the trade being a loser, that goes into their mental environment that they're a loser or they did something wrong. When in reality, that may not even be the case. So so that yeah. that's kind of the dynamic that traders have to look at. I mean, you have to ask yourself as traders, why do I feel that a losing trade means there's something wrong with me if I followed yeah. all my rules and if I did everything correctly? Now, if you didn't follow your rules and you didn't do everything correctly, well, that's a whole different ballgame, and we can talk about that at length. <laughs> Give me a call. But yeah. if you've done it right, you have to understand that it's just market movement. You will have losing trades. But the, the main key ingredient is if you can't let go of a losing trade, that means you don't believe there's always opportunity in the market. That's the bottom yep. line. If you truly yep. believe there's always opportunity, which there is, then you wouldn't care. Like you just said, Larry, like just let it go. Move on to the next trade. Yep, that's exactly right. I remember that, Mark, sitting there in the office here. I'll tell you, those are the most enjoyable six years I had during the 90s is when you guys moved here on August the 16th of 1996 when we had that giant storm and a tree broke in, in the front my friend had the largest tree in the whole subdivision. It split in half and went into my uh, uh, master bathroom. And, and it was raining so hard, all the electricity was out because we were in the monsoon season. And oh, that's right. Filled, I remember that. My, my house filled up with water. That happened to be the same day that Elvis passed away. And I picked you guys at the airport and I dropped you off at your new house. And I came over and I couldn't get into the garage. And so I hear this <laughs> thundering uh lightning thing in the see i heard the tree crack and i saw it go right in just like a spear going into the house and so i didn't get to go back in the house for about three and a half weeks where they they re, uh, re redid everything and paula t i'm going to change the subject here i've got i'm going to make you an offer that you can't refuse right out of the right out of the godfather okay my Listen, favorite is, movie I one of my favorite too. Well, no, Paula T. Come on now, no. Okay, Mr. one of Bond, my favorite. One of my I favorite. expect you to die. Gold, Goldfinger is our favorite. <laughs> but anyway, uh, here's what you remember in January of 1999, with crude oil setting at eleven dollars a barrel, we had a seminar here in our subdivision because we've got this beautiful. Uh, recreational center that no one ever uses and it's just perfect for a small seminar we had about 20 traders from the Phoenix and Scottsdale and Tucson area if you remember uh, Paula mm -hmm. D I think we uh, think we had about 20 or 25 folks and we put on a two-day live trading seminar and uh, it was really great. And guess what, Paula T? I talked to two very, very famous traders today that really want to do that again. Rich Anderson and John Chevney, Mr. Z. And they said, okay. just tell us they tell us when to show up and we'll be there. So we're going to do it this fall. I don't know when, but I'm going to do it a special way. On my bucket list, I've only got a couple things that I have left on my bucket list. One is to see a big whole spread about astrology on CNBC or Bloomberg. That's uh, one thing. And the second thing, of course, is being able to play shortstop for the Yankees. But that's still <laughs> that's still possibly valuable. But uh, the main thing that we're going to do is we're going to have a $50,000 trading account. And we're going to trade live for two days. And what we're going to do is 50% of the profits that we make 
uh, if we make any profits, and I think we can, uh, we're going to split that among the people that attend it. It's going to be by invitation only. And, of course, your cool. invitation – your, your invitation means you're going to pay the fee. We don't know yet, but it, I've got everything set up. All I got to do now is pick out the the place we're going to do it, pick out the dates, make sure everybody wants to show up, and then we're going to do it. I've always wanted to do that, and I, as you know, I used to do it years ago when I was trading. Uh, students would come in, you know, and I would uh, make a guarantee that if we didn't make money that day, you know, they'd get their money back, and I only had that happen. A couple times over yeah, the years. Yeah, I mean, we did that with Mark. Yeah. Yeah, we, oh, we did that with Mark. Yeah. I Mark can't was, remember how many times, yeah. but um, yeah. that it was a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun yeah. too. It sure was. Well, you remember the one with the hockey players with uh, Jack Hughes and uh, yes. you know, of Callahan yes. and and, and uh, uh, Steve. Uh, I well, can't remember Steve's last name, but Jack Hughes. yeah, Steve, yeah. yeah, Jack used to, and uh, we were in Chicago, and we were we we traded profitably four of the five days, and we had to be profitable every day. And we were in the fifth day, Friday, and we were going to go to uh, Rodini's for for lunch, like we always did, and we were right. we were. We were about even. We were about a hundred bucks, and I had a position on in the S and P, uh, and that's when they brought out the money supply. At uh, I think it was 115 or something like that, and we got really lucky on that money supply. But we were at Rodini's when it happened, and uh, I had an order in, and I went back to the to the. We didn't have cell phones. I went back to the payphone to see if we got filled in the the mark. We were short, and the market dropped about five points, which at that time five points was twenty five hundred dollars, and that that put us way over the the limit for Friday. And I walked out of the I walked out of the uh, uh, the restroom where the TV, where the telephone was, and Mike looked. Mark looked at me, and he winked and he smiled, and I nodded, and he knew what had happened. <laughs> and later on, <laughs> and later on, we told the folks what had happened. But it was uh, it was really fun. Okay, one other question we have here: If a person is continually losing every single day, I told him what to do, but what would you tell him to do? Stop trading. <laughs> good, good question. Yeah, find out what you're I mean, doing wrong. For God's first sake. Yeah. and foremost, stop trading and yes. you know reassess what you know is is it your system? Is it your setup? Is it you know is it your yeah. platform you can't use effectively? Um, is your analysis good, bad, indifferent? Um, you know, I, there's a lot of guys that lose continually because. They'll look at a five minute, a three minute, a 15 minute, a 30 minute, a two hour chart. You have numerous yeah. time frame charts, and that alone, you know, can, can bollocks everything up. Yeah. So you, you just have to stop and, and ask yourself, what's going on? Right. And be willing to hear the answer. Okay, Paula T, we're going to have you on again, same time in one hour at 2 30 uh, New York time. We're going to have you on again, okay? Okay. We'll be right See back, you then. folks. Paula T. Douglas Webb. She'll be right back with us in about 45 minutes. Stay tuned, folks. More to come. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. 
Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're going to cover a couple other charts that I think uh, that we need to cover. First of all, we're going to take a look at this gold market. And I wanted to show you what happened yesterday because it was a classic uh, short-term trading uh, phenomenon because I uh, was following it very closely. There was the, there was the number uh, that we were looking for, of course, uh, you know, right at the Fed time. That was that number at uh, 2045. And we went all the way down. We dropped $17 uh, down to this level, which is one half of the harmonic number. And then once we went above, the fact is I, I was looking at this small ABCD here. I, I booked it for about 13 bucks or so. And then on the way back, I sold it here to 382. And we kept bouncing around. And then later on, I decided to uh, keep my stop right above here. And I did. And then I had to leave. And, of course, uh, that was after the Fed chairman had been speaking. So it was uh, after the show t finished at, uh, at uh, 2 o'clock. And uh, son of a gun. Uh, actually, that was at the 3 o'clock show. And you can see that this thing just exploded to the upside. It went all the way up and hit uh, 2044 right on the close. And then right after the close, the market opened at uh, 2081. It dropped. It jumped another uh, $26 an ounce to get up to 20. Uh, 81, and then from 2081, it went all the way down to uh, 2028 uh, last night, which was a 61% a retracement of that previous move. And now we've got all the way back to 2060. We're trading at 2050 right now. So it's going to be very interesting. The interesting part is that the silver, which uh, should have been you know, running along with the gold, uh, really hasn't done that. So a lot of things are happening, and I really, truly believe that it's based on what is going on right now as we speak in this chart right here, which is the chart of the euro versus the U.S. dollar. And that's why it's so very, very important, because this is where the money flows. If we get above this level right here, folks, it is flat out bullish. Now, right now, we've hit it three times in the last three days, almost to the exact tick. And each time we've dropped about 80 pips off that that's what what's what's happened so far uh in that it's i haven't checked it uh, uh in the last uh 30 minutes or so but uh let's see it's still uh, moving down a little bit let's see where we are we are near yeah we're about in the middle making a 382 retracement is all that it's doing uh right now that that's all that it's happening so i hope that that gives you an idea of what we're paying very, very close attention to. The other one that has that we've watched, of course, is we hit a very high number. Well, not a high number, but let me show you uh, relationships now that that help on a, on a longer term time frame because someone asked me to do this uh, in the wheat market. And so I'm going to and I wanted to bring this up to show you just one second here and we'll get it up here. 
See, now, wheat has been bearish, that's for sure. You can see we had a big A, B, C, D. Let's get the chart up, Larry, so everybody can see it, and you're not just talking to yourself. And we'll get up here to take a look at it. And it is right here. Oh, I've got it figured out now. Shut the front door. I'm going to be dangerous, so pay attention. Here is the wheat chart. This is a daily. You'll see the big A, B, C, D down here that we were looking at. And there's where we got her right here. And we had this move up. Now, today we hit a 382 retracement of the high that was right back here. That was up 50 Three cents from the bottom, $2,500. Look at this move right here, folks, from this low to this high. How, how much do you think that was? 50 cents. So what do you think that the harmonic number is in wheat? It's 25 cents and 50 cents. So we should start to back off. We want to be watching that for a back off now because this could be a major bottom, especially coming in here in May. Uh, this is a time when the seasonal bottoms usually occur in beans, corn, and wheat. And uh, let's pay attention to that because we want to be a buyer of the wheat. Uh, if you're not, if you're still long, that's great. If not, we're waiting for a little pullback so that we'll be able to see if we can get a pullback here uh, in the wheat. Same thing. Uh, in the corn and in the beans, we're looking at the same type, the same type of pattern that uh, that we've been following for quite some time. I need to bring this up one more time. This is that I've had three three requests on it, and then we'll do natural gas here also. But here is the uh, chart about that seasonal uh, that was done by uh, Carson Research. I don't know who they are, but it was sent to me by Rich Anderson, and I respect everything that he does. But you'll notice here. This is uh, the last 11 years, 10 of the last 11 years, sell in May and go away has not worked. Because if you sold in May, the tops weren't coming in until October. And October is the most negative month of the, uh, of the trading year. So uh, just pay attention, folks. First of all, if you've only got 11 samples, that's not a good sign, folks. That is not a good sign. You want something that makes it you know, a little bit better. And uh, that's why you want to be uh, want to be looking at that. Okay, so let's uh, keep that in mind as we look at some of these things uh, here uh, this morning. And the next one uh, requested was the uh, Dow Jones transportation because we had these. This is uh, two days late, but it really didn't it didn't go anywhere. The Dow Jones transportation didn't go anywhere. That's the uh, the main thing. And the other one that I think is so very very important. And that is the fact that you've got this do banking index. Folks, you do not have to be a rocket scientist. You don't have to go to MIT. You don't have to go to Indiana State or Indiana University, Northwestern, Purdue. It doesn't make any difference. Look at this. Something is wrong in the regional banking index, for God's sake. You want to pick a bottom down here? Be my guest. But something's wrong. you got 50 of them, and all of them are down today. So maybe this is the bottom of all bottoms, and I will say salutu, namatasi, whatever it's going to be. But uh, I'm not interested in anything down here where this thing is falling like a, falling like a rock. It just doesn't look that good. Something is not right, and that's why I bring this to your attention. I hope that you pay attention to it. It's not how much money you make, folks. It's how much money you don't lose. And look at some of these people that held this stuff as it was falling out of bed with these gaps and and all these stuff, and there's a there's, I think there's 50 of them in that index, that KRE index that uh, Jim Bartolioni, uh, you know, alerted us to. So that's uh, I think it's an important thing to remember as we're looking at these things here uh, today. And we'll be able to understand how some of them are moving as we continue uh, looking at what we're doing here. We got just a short period of time, but we've got a whole minute, and let's get the old natural gas up here. And see if we've ever gotten any, hold on one second here, this will be fun, if we've ever gotten any of uh, support. I haven't looked at it because I'm following so many things that it makes a little bit uh, difficult to, uh, to see. And, oh, we're getting close. We're getting close. Pay attention, Steve. Over in Houston, Austin, let's take a look here. There is. We got it ready to go because we are now, oh, we're really getting close now. 
Let me get this put into the file, and then we're going to get it up, and we'll be talking about this when we get back from the break. Natural gas. I'm full of it. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, this is for our good friend Steve down in Austin, Texas. Steve, get ready to take a look at the natural gas tomorrow because we're setting within just a couple of points of the 78% level. The good part about this, Steve, is it's coming down very, very quietly. Uh, what we'll do tomorrow is we will evaluate it early in the morning and uh, probably send a chart out to see if there's any corresponding ABCD patterns that line up with the FIB points. And that's what we want to be looking for, because then you have multiple confirmations and just a, just a simple, you know, simple pullback at 78% or at 61%, those only work about 55, 60% of the time. We saw that yesterday 
in the crude oil, how it failed at the 61 and how it failed at the 78. Today it worked uh, really nicely with the 0.382, but <laughs> that's what probabilities are all about, folks. You have to pick the ones that are most probable, and that's the that's the key to uh, what we're watching here uh, on some of these markets today. So we'll be watching natural gas very, very closely tomorrow, folks. Remember, we just had a tremendous break uh, almost $20 a barrel over the last several weeks here uh, in the crude oil. This is in the face of the Saudis dropping their production. Now, if they're dropping production, can't sell what they have, something's not right. Either the charts are wrong, or the Saudis are wrong, or the oil is wrong, or the electric cars are wrong. I don't know. I don't understand electric cars. What happens if one breaks down on a freeway? They have an electric uh, cord that goes about 300 yards to a house and fill it up for 45 minutes don't understand it and the second thing is i don't trust a car that you can't hear that just never made any sense to me but that's someone who likes uh to hear the room when you take off uh in a car so let's take a break uh in a few minutes here and be sure that you uh, do something nice for your neighbors and live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may god bless and stay tuned for one hour of information on the market. <laughs> 